This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. Air pollution causes millions of premature deaths around the world every year, according to an estimate by the World Health Organization. And one of the most significant drivers of air pollution in cities is the exhaust that comes out of tailpipes from cars, trucks, and buses. In an effort to tame its air pollution, the city of Hong Kong has deployed a system that can sense when a highly polluting vehicle drives by. There are more than 150 sites for the monitoring of vehicle emissions in Hong Kong so that high-emitting vehicles can be identified quickly and uh, enforced for repair. John Zhou is an environmental engineer at the University of Technology, Sydney, and he's co-author on a new analysis of that program in the journal Science Advances. He says the system works like this. Sensors at road level shoot beams of light across the road to a reflector, The sensors then measure how much light is absorbed by pollutants and roughly calculate emissions from passing vehicles. At the same time, the system's reading license plates, and it sends notices to big polluters. Enforcement began in 2014. In the following four years, the program pulled 16,000 vehicles off the road, mostly taxis but also private cars and buses. Government subsidies helped to fix up 96% of those vehicles, and ensured they pass smog tests. You know, hopefully from the publication uh, of this research, we can raise awareness about the effectiveness of uh, getting the heavy polluting vehicles off the road. The repairs cut pollutants like carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides from the city's air, and that spared people from breathing them in. But the repairs had another effect too. By reducing the pollution from uh, the tailpipe, we're also simultaneously increase the performance of fuel combustion in vehicles. So at least it's indirectly contributing to the reduction of fuel and therefore the uh, reduction of uh, greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. By cleaning up its air, Zhou says Hong Kong has cut carbon emissions too. That's a win-win for people in the city and beyond. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.